Hi, I'm Dan Radcliffe. And I'm Evan Rachel Wood. And we are here with Weird, the Al Yankovic story, and these are very important questions. Get into it. Oh! They're laminated. They are. Whoa. <clears throat> if your film had a scent, what would it be? Aquanet. Because it was the yeah. 80s. Yeah. Be a lot of Aquanet. I was going to say just pure, just, uh, just animal pheromones and desire. <laughs> um, the eye of the tiger. Yeah. Uh, oh, here we go. Do you remember, <laughs> this makes more sense. <laughs> <laughs> do you remember what Weird Al song you first heard and when? Oh, man. I, I, I don't know if I remember. On a, it was probably uh, Eat It and Yoda and Amish Paradise and White and Nerdy. I think Amish Paradise and White and Nerdy yeah. would have been the first ones. I feel like White and Nerdy was one of the first ones that I heard and I was like, ooh, there's like the part of my brain that likes wordy things that go fast. I was like, ah, I immediately have to start learning this. That's the one song I was like quietly devastated that we didn't get to do in the White film. and Nerdy, yes, yeah. it's one of my favorites. What is your second favorite Weird Al song? I just named four. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you burned through a lot. I mean, honestly, like the first one changes a lot for me. Um, I uh, I love Everything You Know Is Wrong. That's a fun one. Um, but also, like, I will admit a thing that I have admitted to a lot is that I uh, I sometimes work out and run to the polkas because <laughs> they because they're like for my ADD brain. It's yes. a song that changes their medleys, so it changes every thirty seconds. Amazing. But they're all really fast. So working out to Weird Al polkas is uh, I, I recommend. Wow, that. Mr. Al Yankovic claims the script is one hundred percent accurate. Do you believe him? I mean, would he lie? I, he seems like an incredibly honest man. I, I, yeah. And I don't think that he'd ever feel the need to, to fabricate or stretch for, for comic effect. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, no, I feel like you can take this film uh, as 100% the true literally story. Literally as possible. Gospel. Is Weird Al weird enough to be called Weird Al? Yeah. Yeah, yeah he's earned that name. 100%. Yeah, we did, I felt uh, on set there was a thing that happened because I was playing Weird Al in the movie and people refer to you as your character names where to avoid confusion on set, like he spent, you know, 30 or more years crafting the stage persona of Weird Al and within two days of being on our set he was referred to as Real Al for convenience. Why did it take nearly 10 years to turn a funny or die sketch into a full length film? I don't know because films are famously super easy to make. <laughs> um, and art isn't a competition but why is your film the best film at the festival? Um, it's a masterpiece of filmmaking. It's the only, and it's the only film that uh, tries to tell the 100% honest, unassailably true honest story truth. of the greatest musician and entertainer in the history of humankind. Absolutely. None of the other films do that, so they're just at a, they're at a slight disadvantage just to start off with.